What's up everybody, Jonesy here with another entry into the hyperspace database. Today's topic, the ETA-2 Jedi Interceptor. The ADA-2 Actis class light interceptor, also known as the Jedi Interceptor, was used mainly by the Jedi during the Clone Wars and was a direct successor to the Delta-7 Ether Sprite. So, here are the stats. The ADA-2 Interceptor is 5.47 meters long and 4.3 meters wide has two laser cannons and two secondary ion cannons. It had two twin ion engines capable of reaching 1,500 kilometers per hour in atmosphere and was capable of class one light speed with the assistance of Celier 45 hyperspace rings. The Ada-2 also houses an astromech unit to assist with flight maintenance and hyperspace navigation. The Ada-2 was manufactured by Kuat Systems Engineering and was the direct successor to the Delta-7 Aether Sprite which was used in the Clone Wars by Jedi because of its advanced speed. Initial Ada-2 units lacked shielding to decrease cost and weight, but due to complaints from Jedi Knights about defense, a shielded variant was also developed. It was an ancestor to the Ada-5 interceptor used by the Galactic Alliance 40 years after the Battle of Yavin. The Jedi Order had several personal paint jobs for the Ada-2, such as Anakin Skywalker's yellow interceptor, Obi-Wan's red and white color, Mace Windu had a purple design, and Cissei Tin had a green color variant as well. At the end of the Clone Wars, the Ada-2 was still used by the Empire, and many of its design features were then integrated into the development of the TIE Fighter, such as the twin ion engine, the spoked viewport, and the radiator panels. Well guys, that's it for this episode. Like what you see? Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and check out our other videos as well. Let us know in the comments what ships you'd like to see next. Thanks guys so much for your support, and we'll see you next time.